Ladies and gentlemen, my name is Sam. My name is Henry. And uh, welcome back to the Hero Boost YouTube channel. Um, it's going to be a good one today. Uh, we're going to talk about a lot of things. We're going to talk about Odell Beckham. We're going to talk about uh, the Raven, the fact that Ravens lost to the, to the Miami Dolphins the other night. Clowns. Um, and a couple other things. About, yeah, yeah, a couple other things. Cam Newton to the Panthers. we got to talk about that. I'm extremely happy about so that. So we got a few but... things to talk about, a few things to get out of the way, and... Uh, We'll be rolling here. So with that being said, let's hit the intro. All right, before we get into this video, make sure to like, subscribe, make sure that notification bell is on so you get notified whenever we post a new video. And also make sure to leave any future video ideas in the comment section. All right, so first thing I do want to talk about, I want to save Odell for last. I want to talk about Cam very quick. I want to... Cam Newton mm. signed a one-year deal with the Carolina Panthers after them being terrible this season so far. Do... do if I may, due to Sam Darnold. Let, yeah, let's, yeah. No, no, let's, let's not sugarcoat let's, this. Let's not sugarcoat it. I, he, I just said yeah, that. Yeah, sorry. He, Sam Darnold's not good. He's, oh, no, he's the, he's the worst starting quarterback in the NFL. One of the worst quarterbacks in the NFL. So, in far. my opinion, this was expert. This was it's a really great idea. This is probably the best scenario that could have happened. I'm so happy. I, all Everyone's I need, happy. All I needed Everyone's to do happy. is play horribly whenever he plays the Saints. Otherwise, all... Good. All I need. So, I'll take it. Um, but, I mean, aside from that, uh, I'd love to see him getting another shot, especially in a place that he loves. And but, yeah, um, he's back. I'm not you know with who, Christian McCaffrey. You know who else is back? Odell Beckham Jr. All right. So not, listen, not New Orleans. As I expressed nope. in the short I posted, um, I, I'm, I'm happy for him. I'm not happy as a Saints fan. You know, you know, he wasn't even in the top five teams that the Rams weren't. Yeah, they were. What are you talking? They were like his number two. Oh, I thought it went Seahawks, Packers, no. Saints. No. Oh. Well, listen, I, I'm upset. I'm deeply troubled. Oh, okay. I want to talk about this real quick about the Saints. The Saints have possibly one of the worst starting offenses playing on Sunday. I want you to listen to this. No Camaro. No, nope. I want you to listen. Without Camaro, because Camaro's out now. So I want you to listen to this. Trevor Simeon at quarterback. Running back, Mark Ingram. Pretty good, right? He, well, oh, by the oh, way, he's, a, is... he's about to break, I think, this okay, game. Okay, he can okay. break the um, Ty Saints' uh, O-line. O-line, we have like three starters and two random people. And then tight ends, we have Jawan Johnson, Adam Troutman. <laughs> Horrible. Juwan Johnson's okay. He's fair. Troutman is god awful. One we need of the to worst. cut him. He's a waste he of He needs space. to be fired, not cut, fired. Then Anyways, we have Drake no, no, Juan. And then, no, no, no. We, we have a bunch of nobodies at receiver. And that's it. Um, We have literally, we have a bunch of All right, so one thing I do want to touch up on very quick. Mark Ingram, I saw an article. He's very close to, he played with the Saints before. If you are not, a, if you know stuff about the NFL, you know he had a decently long career with the Saints. And he, if he does well, he, he's on pace to break the all-time rushing record for the Saints team, like in total yards. <laughs> Um, but yeah, I think I think it was um, he's like two hundred yards away. You know, so. this feels like MJ when he came back to the Bulls. You know, I'm Listen, just saying. He, I'm just throwing that out there. I know it's a horrible all comparison. Right. Our hopes yeah. against the Titans, one of the best teams in the league, Mark Ingram, who played great last week, and our defense, who shut out like. J didn't shut out. They played amazing against Tampa Bay and then did terrible against the Falcons. So we need something from them. I think we can all agree. Yeah, and they actually didn't play great versus Oh, Tampa. by the way, uh, we all agree. Sorry, jumping back to the Rams. They're playing bad in franchise mode with no salary cap, right? They can't. They can't. They can't. Um, no, no. Here's. I'm going to say something. 
This is exactly why the Rams have been so good in the past few years. It's because Sean McVay doesn't use draft picks. When was the last time the Rams used a first-round draft pick? Think. In the Sean McVay era, I don't think they've had one first-round draft pick except for Jared Goff. And I don't even think that was... That wasn't even the uh, Sean McVay era. Now listen, Sean McVay picks from the pool of talent that is already in the NFL. He doesn't cha take a chance on a guy that could end up being a bust. He picks from the pool of talent already in the NFL. And that's what I love about Sean McVay. So and it works. It, his coaching style works. And that aggressiveness or to his advantage. Why has he been so good over the past few years? Exactly why. He picks from the pool of talent that is already in the NFL. So I, I love if, that. If that's I love a it. that's a good strategy. And he's been working it better than anyone else has. And listen, I feel that, for example, if I was a coach, I would have... De the way he's doing it, he's executing it so well, he really doesn't need those draft picks. Take my word. You can quote me in this in like three months, I think. Rams are winning the Super Bowl. End of story. Ooh, that's my pick too. Once this team gets there, you know, gets it together, they yeah. easily have the um, Odell's the new deep threat. No, hundred uh, percent. Oh, Odell, this decides if he really is still good. Because he's going to be getting more targets. He's going to be getting more play time. He, he, this is my decider. Stats don't mean everything. I want you to know. No, that. but how, if he starts getting the ball, he starts, because Baker. Every time he gets the ball, he should be making a play. I agree. Well, I mean, maybe not everything. You know what I mean. Um, he should be making plays. And uh, that's just the case. I, I don't think he's washed. I think he's all good. I, I think he just wasn't, A, getting targeted in uh, Cleveland and B, he just didn't fit the scheme uh, down there in Cleveland. Yeah, but so. listen, I feel like he's gonna do great there, and I do too. It pains me to say that as a Saints fan. Everybody Dude, was spanking. We're so close. Everybody was spanking so hard that he was coming here. Everybody was like, Quan Alexander was like, "Oh, get over here, OBJ." Everybody was like, "Get over here, we need you, OBJ. OBJ, we will worship you," which we would. We don't have a receiver in hell right now. We were so. Close. Uh, Closer cut, than cut, I am cut, to the cut. camera. Um, but yeah, that's a big thing. Um, what else? We, oh yeah, Ra Dolphins actually just ah, wrecked the Ravens. Dude, literally, uh, after you watch this video, um, look up, uh, offensive lineman scores. Uh, oh, yeah. He got called back because he's an eligible receiver. <laughs> he's better than our receivers. That, that O lineman is better than Wait, any of our receivers. We need to sign him, right? He's our new tight end, correct? No, he's the right, new so wide receiver one. They were, um, Dolphins were on the, first of all, it was 22 to 10 final score, Dolphins. But Which hurts both of our locks. We both get minus one for that, yeah. by the way. We're not counting locks, but, you know. Um, because there's only been one game. But, um, so listen. They were in the red zone, uh, Dolphins were. And they were doing a screen, and Tua was almost sacked. And he just, like, threw, he threw it to the running back with the, uh, uh, lineman thought it was for him. He just ran. Yeah. Uh, he like uh, he didn't think it was for him. He was just he was right. like Henry, Henry. He didn't think it was for him. He was just there. Yeah, and he, didn't he mean caught to it. Be. So he just took it around. It was a it was ineligible receiver, but still, like for example, if you remember last year when the NFL made the top one hundred plays, and one of the top hundred plays was the dropped Kelsey pass where Mahomes was like vertical from the ground. Yeah, um, that might be in the top hundred because even though it got called back. Mm hmm. Um, all right. But yeah, really, with that, I, I think, mean, it's yeah. been a shorter hey, hey, video, but I, yeah. Henry, I love you. I'm so tired. So while you wrap up here, talk to the folks. Later, folks. Uh, I'm going to go take a nap. So why don't you do this? All right. Well, Sam is taking a nap. Thank you so much for staying to the end of these videos. If you want, uh, check out our newest videos. Um, yeah, thank you all so much for all the support recently, all the views. It's really amazing. And yeah, we'll see you.